My pillow CEO, Mike Lindell has been sending out just email after email, after email, day after day, after day to his supporters, begging them to obviously send him money, send him money for multiple different things. He has the uh, election crime bureau. He's calling it. He has the Lindell offense fund, not defense fund, offense fund, right? Cause you're going to go out there and send our little drones to all these polling stations and hope that we don't get hit with criminal charges for doing that because it's not legal. But in several of his emails that he sent out last weekend, Lindell decided to thank Jimmy Kimmel for a segment that Kimmel had run two weeks prior, just making fun of Jimmy Kimmel for like 10 or 15 minutes straight. Now Kimmel, again, two weeks before Lindell starts sending out these emails about it, did a segment that was called Mike Lindell's My Christmas Spectacular. It was a variety show that included appearances from real and imagined MAGA stars, including Janine Pirro, the QAnon shaman, George Santos, and representative Lauren Boebert, whose Golden Dukes nominated Beetlejuice scandal made for a memorable punchline. Lindell waits up all night for rightful president Trump, who never actually arrives. Following a heartwarming conversation with Kimmel, Lindell admits he feels Trump has been with him all along in his heart and in the hearts of quote, all who still believe in the magic of Christmas. Um, so, uh, uh, Kimmel as per usual, just roasted the hell out of Mike Lindell. It wasn't the real Mike Lindell. It was an impersonator who does actually a really good job, but Kimmel has been one of the people who just consistently, routinely, repeatedly, and hilariously roast the hell out of Mike Lindell. It's been wonderful. And I've loved every segment that he's done about it, but Lindell decided to include that in his little email to all his supporters begging them for money. And this is what Lindell said in the email. While our campaign to save America ramps up, we are also thankful to comedian Jimmy Kimmel's latest attempt at humor and his free publicity given to our great crusade to save America. <laughs> all of the conspiracies I touted are coming to pass. What the Lindell offense fund has said since day one, machines are connected to the internet. Machines can be hacked and elections can be rigged. In all seriousness, seriousness, we're excited to have the earned media media. We don't pay for, and we're happy to continue the conversation about rigged elections and stolen votes, no matter what the venue. Now, um, I noticed my Lindell impression kind of went into a Trump impression out there at the end. I'm sorry about that. Um, here's the thing. There was no rigging. There was no hacking. None of that. Everything Lindell says is not true. Okay. He's like, the conspiracies are coming true. No, they're not. They're still conspiracies. That's why you're still referring to them as conspiracies. But let me tell you something, Lindell, Mike, if I may, not all publicity is good publicity. Like, do you genuinely think that anybody who watches those segments on Jimmy Kimmel, where again, he's roasting the hell out of you. Do you think there's any buddy in this country that sees that and suddenly says, you know what? I think Mike Lindell's onto something. I think Mike Lindell is right. This comedy skit making fun of him for being a crackpot has changed my mind about it. And I'm now going to send him money. See Lindell kind of like Donald Trump is still operating under the false assumption that all publicity is good publicity. Even negative publicity is good publicity. It's not. It 100% is not. People are making fun of you because they think you're crazy. And the audience through these skits comes to think that you are crazy. And if you don't think that comedy skits have an impact on how people view individuals, then let me direct you to Sarah Palin and her, I can see Russia from my house comments, right? We all remember Sarah Palin saying that, except she never said it. That was Tina Fey from Saturday Night Live. Sarah Palin never said that. She never said it. But a majority of people in this country think that Sarah Palin said it because Tina Fey said it while impersonating Sarah Palin on Saturday Night Live back in 2008. That is how powerful these comedy segments are. They change the public's perception of these people. They truly do. So Lindell can thank Jimmy Kimmel all he wants, but in reality, I really think he's getting his feeling hurt, feelings hurt and he's trying to put on a brave face. But I personally want to thank Jimmy Kimmel because he is doing a phenomenal job 
of continuously reminding the public of how just absolutely bonkers all of these Trump loyalists really are. And Jimmy Kimmel is doing it probably even better than the folks on cable news. So I will thank Jimmy Kimmel, but Lindell, you probably need to be worried because he's not giving you free publicity. He's just getting everybody to laugh at you.